what's up guys Houston here and for those of you just finding my YouTube channel welcome please remember to hit that subscribe button and that bell and for those of you that's been following me and supporting me salute and for my faithful patrons double salute now today's video we're going to be talking about how to get $25,000 in online installment personal loans with no credit check and this is very important because hey you may be looking to try to invest into some tax liens you may be trying to buy some cryptocurrency you may even be trying to just buy a car so that you can put it on a car rental platform like toro okay nonetheless i'm going to show you how to be able to get up to twenty five thousand dollars in installment loans online all right now the first lender that we're talking about is upstart okay now upstart is very unique because they're not really focused on the credit score okay the credit score does matter but that may not be the only solution and or determining factor whether you're going to get the loan or not okay one thing about it it is a soft pull on the credit and they use fico 9 now some of you may not really understand what that means and the benefits of using FICO 9 but I'm definitely going to share with you in a minute now their credit scores go anywhere from a 620 to a 660 okay but here's the thing about it you can be brand new no credit okay and they can still calculate to determine how much funding they're willing to give me for as an online loan online installment loan at that okay now the minimum uh income you need to have is about twelve thousand dollars annually okay that's the minimum now you do need to have either a full-time job or you've been working on a job for at least six months even if you're driving for like uber um lyft doordash instacart doing that type of work um you still able to get a loan from this type of lender okay and the reason that i'm talking about these lender these specific lenders because again in reference to fico score your credit score they have other metrics they use to help you get approved all right so stick with me because i got a couple of lenders that's really willing to help you now their loan amounts go from a thousand to fifty thousand now the other metrics i was telling you about they determine like if you have a college education or how long you've been on the job or how long you've been at your resident okay those are some of the metrics that can help you get approved even if you have uh no credit okay so that's the reason that i'm telling you this lenders like this instead of going through the traditional banks you don't have to go through the traditional banks in order to deal with these type of lenders all right now you do have to have a personal bank account and you do have to have a valid email and like i said when they do a soft pull what that means is that they're going to be checking like credit bureaus like the third party credit bureaus like clarity which is owned by experian they're going to be uh, pulling a uh, data X which is owned by Equifax they may pull factor trust which is owned by TransUnion or core logic or Lexus Nexus so they may be pulling any of these other third-party data system but they will not put a hard inquiry on your credit score and they operate in all 50 states and there's no proof of income required okay so just keep that in mind for this lender now here's something that i want to help you all understand if you have a low, low credit score and you're looking to try to get a loan from the traditional banks you can do these here steps to help boost up your credit score anywhere from 25 to 100 points now there's companies called grow credit and perch so if you have a netflix account a hulu account a spotify a apple music account even if you have gym membership or paying car insurance and those trade lines are not showing up on your personal credit these companies will actually report those trade lines so that it can help boost up your credit score all right as a matter of fact uh perch they will report up to six months of credit 
of uh, accounts, excuse me, six months of your rent on your credit report so that you can get credit for paying rent. Now, speaking of paying rent, just stick with me because I'm going to come back to that. Now, also to help balance out the credit, you do need like a uh, pledge loans or credit builder loans. That's the reason we're talking about these online installment loans right now, because this is why like people may have a lot of revolving credit, but they don't have any loans on the credit. So that hurts their credit score about 40 to 60 points. So that's the reason you have to have a loan on your credit, even if you don't want the debt. In order to have a strong credit score, you have to have a loan. Now, also adding an authorized user helps build, build up the credit as well. You also have this company called Extra. They have the Extra Debit Credit Card app, and I'm going to talk about that just one moment. Now, you have a Boom Pay and Rental Karma. Going back to reporting rent, with Boom Pay, they state that they can report up to 24 months of rent on your credit file. Now, why is that important? Here's the reason. If you can show rental history for a year, a year and a half, or two years, say that you're paying $1,000, $1,500, or $2,000 rent, and, you, and that's showing up on your credit report, what ends up happening if you're trying to get qualified for a mortgage, this is going to be accepting for, this is going to help you get that leverage you need to be approved for that mortgage because you can actually show that, hey, I've been paying rent, all right? Also, with the utilities, Grow Credit and Perch, Light Bill, Gas Bill, Water Bill, also those can be included to help build up the credit file as well. And it's very important that you do that, especially if you're trying to get more funding. Now, universal credit okay this is a this is one of those top lenders that work with subprime borrowers people with challenging credit that have a low credit score okay so their minimum credit score is a 560 their average credit score is a 638 now you see why it's so important to add those trade lines on your credit now before i go any further let me go back to talking about that extra credit debit card there's two companies extra credit debit card and then there's one financial both of those companies will take all your debit card transactions and they will report it to the credit bureau so all your debit card transactions once you hook up your banking information all your debit card transactions will be reported to the credit bureau for a primary trade line so that's the reason you want to use those type of accounts now, in order to uh, get this universal credit loan, the average credit, the average income is uh, sixty thousand. And again, they pull in from FICO nine. That's the reason that you need to add those trade lines, so that way you have a strong credit file as well as the income. Now, one of the things I'm gonna tell you guys, having a sixty thousand dollar income. Or if you don't have a $60,000 income, that does not disqualify you from being approved with them, again, because they use different data metrics to help you. Now, another thing about this, a lot of people, when they're applying for loans and stuff, they do not, uh, or they forget to include their spouse's income. They may be renting out a room, hint. For those that can catch it, uh, that's income for you. If you're retired, you may also have annuity income, 401k income. So don't think that because it's saying, oh, average is 60000 that you don't qualify. I would still don't, I would still just tell you, incorporate everybody in the household that um, contributes to your income. Okay, that's what I would say. Now, Again, their loans go anywhere from a thousand up to fifty thousand, and you have to have at least two trade lines on your credit report in order to qualify to meet their criteria. Okay, so that's again that's why it's important to add all that positive trade line because you're able to build up the credit file for a stronger um, credit score as well. Now, the good thing about this company. Their debt to income ratio is 
if you were to go to a bank or even some credit unions, okay, um, their debt to income rate is 45 to 55. So that means that if you have a 55 or higher debt to income rate, they will not approve you. However, with this universal credit, you can have up to 75% debt to income ratio and they will still be able to help you get approved for a installment loan, okay? Now, I um I forgot to uh change the heading on this, but I made a video talking about one main financial now one main financial again they do a soft pull on your credit but you have to have a bank account now their loans go anywhere from 1500 to 20,000 and they do charge origination fees but again trying to get pre-approved first for these loans that way you know exactly how much they're willing to offer you now there's another company called opportune now with opportune you don't have to have a credit score or a, a credit credit history that's how that's how lenient they are now if you're a new customer their loans go from 300 to 6000 and if you are a returning customer their loans go from 6000 to 10000 all right and again a soft pull on the credit so no credit check and your income has to be at least $500 a month, okay? Now, Upgrade. Again, Upgrade is one of those uh, companies that use other data metrics besides the FICO score. Now, their minimum credit score is a 560. Their average credit score is a 678. But their loans go from 500 up to 50,000. Now, your annual uh annual average income is about 78,000 but I just explained that to you about how to be able to get approved looking at the universal credit okay now the number of accounts that you have to have is at least two accounts and again you can see where they will accept the person with at least 75 percent debt to income ratio all right now the unfortunate thing about Upstart is they don't operate in Colorado, Idaho, New York, Vermont, Virginia, Wisconsin, and Wyoming. But at the same time, those other lenders, you still should be able to raise that $25,000 in funding because I just gave you the strategy.